internet. So today is the big reveal of what handbag I decided to get. I did share in a past video that I have a new job to celebrate and I was hesitating over what luxury handbag to purchase, which one was going to be my ultimate. And I decided and it had to be ordered in and I've just received it and I wanted to unbox it for you guys because I absolutely adore unboxing videos. I find them very entertaining. They're like Christmas when it's not, basically. So you'll get to see how it came packaged, which is pretty special and then also what the bag looks like. If you would like to see a full review of the bag or what's in my bag video once I have been using it for a little while, then let me know in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up and I'll go ahead and do that for you. Um, but let's get right into it and unpackage this monster. I carried this all around yesterday. Um, it's pretty heavy just because of how substantial the packaging is. It's pretty much like completely obscuring me but that's okay because you guys are here to see the bag so let's take this off and the explanation for this plastic thingy by the way which does make it look less pretty but is practical is that they will actually um, basically shroud the bag in plastic for you if they think it's going to rain and the woman at the Chanel store who was really nice um, shout out to Angie I guess um, decided that it might rain so she put the bag under plastic which is kind of cool I mean who else does that for you so um, First of all, I'm going to have to remove the ribbon just to get this plastic thing off. And you can see it says Chanel all over it, which is, of course, their signature. If you ask for water there as well, they will give you napkins that have Chanel all over it. I guess that's just supposed to be part of the experience. Then the plastic just lifts right off, and I'll just put it to the side. And then you can see here's the classic Chanel bag that I'm sure you guys have seen around with the white leather lettering. It's really classic. And the Camellia Blossom, which I absolutely love. I was dying to get that, basically. Um, I would have been really disappointed if I hadn't. Um, so inside the bag is an equally giant box. So I'm just going to lift that out so you guys can see it. And put the bag to the side. There we go. And so here's the giant box which has another camellia blossom on it as well. And I'm not sure how the camellia blossom is attached. It's basically stick on, so I think they just kind of knot it up and then stick it onto the knot. So I'm just gonna unknot this. This is so fun. I have not peeked you guys. I have been so good. I got this yesterday evening, and so by the time I got home after dinner, because we had a little celebratory steak dinner, um, I got it home, but it was dark, so I couldn't film, and so I waited until this morning. So you can see the flowers just kind of staying on the ribbon. I'm going to put this aside. That would be a fun thing for a craft project or something to keep. And so here is the box, and it just opens on the side, so in that way it's pretty similar to um, the Louis Vuitton packaging, which I've had once before. Um, similar size box as well. And it just opens at the top. And then you guys make absolutely sure that you get a dust bag, because I had read a few horror stories online that sometimes they won't give you one, so I made absolutely sure that one was included, and it is right here. That's really important for the storage of your bag. They're really handy to have, and I think it is kind of an important part of buying a luxury handbag is getting that. So you can see the Chanel dust bag has the Chanel logo on it, and then it's got these little drawstrings that feel like they're kind of waxy almost. And it ties at the top. And then inside is a serious volume of tissue paper. Um, maybe partly because this bag was shipped to the store because they didn't have it. Apparently Chanel handbags just sell out like all the time. It's not like walking into any store. You have to locate the one that you want. And I was very particular about the one that I wanted. Well, pretty particular. And then here is the bag. What do you think? I'm so happy with it. Um, I saw this bag in store, but they only had the silver hardware, and I am just absolutely in love with the gold hardware. It's definitely the right fit for me. I'm a big believer in mixing metals, so I will wear it equally with silver jewelry. I just think against the black, the gold hardware is the classic Chanel look for me, at least for my first bag. That is what I wanted because this is my first Chanel bag which is very exciting. She asked me in the store, is this your first? And it was, it was a lot of fun. It was a really fun experience. So 
This is the Grand Shopping Tote. Most people call it the GST. There is a smaller size, which is the Petite Shopping Tote. Um, but I wanted the big one because I will be using this bag for work. I love the size of it because you can fit full documents in it. That was really important to me. Um, I will be using it for travel. Um, just to get back to what's actually included with the bag, this is actually a little wipe that you can use to just kind of polish your bag and it's made especially. So that's, again, you know, the detailing that you get with a luxury bag and kind of expect in a way. And it's very fully stuffed. It is a large bag, but my frame is 5'4", and against it, it was actually a really good fit. It doesn't protrude too much at all, and I was told that the width of the bag, as I continue to use it, will kind of shrink a little bit as the leather starts to age, but all of these bags that I've seen around, and it is an interesting thing to keep an eye out on and um, just sort of look at other people's outfits. I would like to do some outfits of the day so you guys can see how this is worn just to see what the bag looks like, you know, down the road a few months after. Um, I think that's a really important part of a big purchase. So there's a little bit of plastic on the hardware, but I won't worry about getting that off now. All the stuffing is out, so you guys can see inside the bag. It is just black, but it's really nicely organized, which is really important to me. I looked into a Celine, but decided to definitely get this one first because it is a lot more organized. So it's got one big pocket at the front here, then a zippered pocket in the middle here and then another zippered pocket at the back um, here as well so it's very nicely organized on the inside and then on the outside I really think of this as a cell phone pocket for easy access it's just wonderful it's on most Chanel handbags that I have looked at so the um, double flap has that as well as the GST. Um, I did hesitate quite a bit over whether to get a double flap, but I decided that I wanted a bigger bag and also one that is a little bit more informal and young as well as my first bag, just to kind of get a feel for Chanel as well. So I'm very happy with my purchase. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and I guess that's it for this first unboxing video and you'll see more of me and my bag because we're now a team pretty much when you paid this much for a bag it's pretty much a part of you um, in my future videos and thanks for watching bye